gorilla versus grizzly bear. If the two were to fight to the death, which one would win? Let's compare these two creatures. Gorillas are giant apes found only in Africa. They're usually split into two groups. Mountain gorillas live in Central Africa's hilly regions, whereas lowland gorillas live in Central and Western Africa's flat, lush woods. The grizzly bear is a brown bear subspecies. These massive beasts are native to Europe and Asia, but they can now only be found in North America and Canada. Size and body description. The western gorilla is the most numerous species in the wild. The western lowland gorilla and the cross river gorilla are two subspecies. Individuals of this species are huge and robust. Males stand 1.55 meters tall on average, while females stand 1.35 meters tall. Captive females weigh on average 80 kilograms, whereas males weigh 157 kilograms. Their muzzle is short and their jaw muscles are robust. The majority of their body is covered in dark fur. Gorillas have a cleaner tone than their eastern relatives, which can have a brown or even somewhat reddish coat. On the other hand, mature female grizzlies weigh 130 to 180 kilograms on average, whereas adult males weigh 180 to 360 kilograms. This subspecies average total length is 198 centimeters. Grizzly bears have concave faces, a pronounced hump on their shoulders, and two to four inch long claws. A grizzly bear's excellent digging ability is linked to both the hump and the claws. Grizzlies are usually dark brown, but they can sometimes be light cream or black. The bear's long guard hairs on their backs and shoulders often have white tips, giving them a grizzled appearance, therefore the term grizzly. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Before we proceed, please consider liking the video. This will help us with the YouTube algorithm. Habitat and Environment The distribution of western gorillas was undisturbed just a few years ago, but now there are mostly small and scattered populations, and they've become extinct in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, Angola, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Congo, and Gabon are still home to this species. Cameroon, Congo, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, and the Central African Republic are home to the Western Lowland Gorilla. It can be found south of the Sanaga River, in the Congo River's estuary, and east of the Ubangi River. Because it only lives in a tiny area between Nigeria and Cameroon, the Cross River Gorilla has a limited range. Lowland tropical forests, swamp forests, and primary and secondary forests are their main habitats. Grizzly bears live in various environments, including dense forests, meadows, wide plains, and arctic tundra. Grizzly bears can be found in western Canada, Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and possibly a tiny population in Washington in North America. They were once found from Alaska to Mexico, from California to Ohio. Nutrition Gorillas trek between 1 and 4 kilometers every day in search of fruit trees and plants. Gorillas are primarily herbivores. Western gorillas eat leaves, buds, and fruit in particular. Because their availability varies throughout the year, their usage may as well. Ants, termites, worms, grubs, and caterpillars are occasionally eaten. They are forced to eat leaves, woody plants, bark, and low-quality herbs when the fruit's limited. Grizzly bears are omnivores with a wide range of diets. Seeds, berries, roots, grasses, fungi, deer, elk, fish, dead animals, and insects are among the foods they consume. Grizzlies enter hyperphagia in the late summer and early fall, a period of two to four months during which they increase their calorie intake in preparation for winter denning. They can acquire more than three pounds each day throughout this time. Reproduction. Gorillas are a polygamous species. Although the typical sexual maturity age is 10 years, females can start producing children as early as 8 or 9. Because there is no defined breeding season, the dominant male or leader is the only one who can mate with the females in his group. This can happen at any time of year. The gestation period is approximately 8 and a half months, and only one infant weighing approximately 2 kilograms is generally born. Mothers nurse their children for 3 or 4 years and transport and care for them. Males rarely interact with the children. Many babies die. If the mother has twins, 
she lets one of them die because it's difficult to care for and transfer both. In the wild, they can live for up to 40 years. Grizzly bears are among the slowest reproducing land mammals. Typically, females do not reproduce until they're four or five years old. Grizzly bears mate between May and July, but the female's body takes until October or November for the implantation of her eggs in the uterus to occur. Mother bears are responsible for their pups for two to three years. Males do not assist in the raising of the cubs. Female grizzly bears frequently avoid male grizzly bears while nursing their young, since males can be dangerous to them. Behavior. The western gorilla lives in groups of two to 20 individuals, with a silverback male leader responsible for defending the group's females and offspring. Their lives are tranquil, with rare instances of aggression. In the event of danger, the silverback male stands on two legs, emits loud vocalizations, and beats his chest with both hands to intimidate the intruder. They are diurnal and stationary since they do not migrate, even though they move in groups for months or years in quest of food. As a result, they lack territoriality. Grizzly bears are solitary creatures by nature. They're not territorial, though, and can be seen grazing together in areas where food is plentiful, such as salmon streams and white bark pine sites. Females will care for their pups for two to three years. When a female grizzly bear leaves her mother, she often establishes her home range near her mother's. Males tend to travel further, but they may also stay close by. Grizzly bears must eat a lot in the summer and fall to build up enough fat reserves to withstand the winter denning period. Now, back to our original question. In a battle between the grizzly bear and the gorilla, who would win? Grizzly bears and western gorillas live in completely distinct geographical and climatic environments. That does not, however, stop them from engaging in a conflict. If they're ever forced to fight on the same battlefield, they will face a fierce fight that could result in one of them dying. The grizzly bear is a powerful animal, capable of killing humans. It possesses powerful canine teeth that rip the flesh of its prey. On the other hand, western gorillas are incredibly adaptable and quick, climbing up a tree in seconds. This means that a gorilla can carefully position itself to get an edge during a battle. The western gorilla will be able to strike and hit the bear from any direction due to its speed and flexibility. On the other hand, the bear is so mighty that it can simply crush the gorilla if it captures it. The battle between the two will be ferocious, with cat and mouse type of chases. Grizzly bears are also less clever than western gorillas. This allows them to keep a close eye on the bears and choose when and where to strike. The outcome of a fight between these two animals is difficult to predict. They both have an equal chance of winning the game. The loser will almost certainly die. What do you think? Which of the two would win a possible fight? Tell us in the comments down below.